morning, guys. Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. Welcome to our off-grid homestead. I am outside today, and hopefully you'll be able to hear me. It's really windy, and I'm ho hoping that my connection will stay strong. The enemy is heavily attacking us today, um, and I'm going to show you around, so hopefully my connection will stay strong. Good morning, Miss Kelly. Good morning, Miss Tammy. I am drinking a really good beverage this morning. Good morning, Chad. Hello, hello. I have got a cashew milk with turmeric chai and stevia, a little bit of stevia, and a little bit of coconut oil, and it's very, very calming. I'm very grateful for it today. What are you guys up to? What are you drinking? Good morning, Shelly. Good morning, Diana. Good morning, Courtney. Ah, I'm so glad to see all you guys joining me. That's refreshing. Thank you. Morning, sister, to you too, Kelly. Ah, oh, God is so good. That's all I can say. And today's lesson is going to be really, really awesome. It's amazing how God always orchestrates these and how it is just all coming together. I have my three water jugs on um, the table inside waiting for me. I figured I'd drink this outside. It's, this weather's been so weird. We had warm weather, then it was cool. Yesterday I started out in shorts and and a sweatshirt, and I ended up in sweatpants, a sweatshirt, and another like t-shirt type thing, and I still was cold. So just weird weather. But I'm gonna share things here quick with you. Um, our grass is still growing. I think we're gonna need a sickle bar soon, but it's all part of the deal. Gonna spin this around. Just started the introductory herbal course for the Herbal Academy today. Awesome! They are fantastic. If you are not familiar with them, you need to go to um, treyerwilderness.com slash herbal academy. Um, absolutely amazing. And I'm so glad to hear that, Diana, because their classes are fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Um, yeah, it's chilly there too, Tammy. Yeah, it's weird weather. It's beautiful. I mean, we've got sun. I'm not going to complain. We've had a lot of rain and then the sun pops up and that's why our grass is so tall. But I'm going to spin this around. I'm going to show you what I have done in the shed here. And um, then I'm going to show you what the mountain man and, and has been up to. Um, keep him in your prayers today. He could use prayers today. He is wore out. I'm going to spin this. Okay. Here we go, guys. This shed you couldn't get into last fall. You had to move things to get in there, and there wasn't even a path. It was really bad. And... I've sorted through this three times now. I've sorted through it to get things um, uh, dispensed so that I knew what I was giving away and, um, and deciding what I was keeping and donating and all that good jazz. So I have a nice big pile right here that's going to be donated again. I'm excited about that. But this is now all sorted. A third time, we got rid of everything. We burned lots of history, lots of garbage, lots of just great. Got rid of all kinds of good stuff. And this is in order so that when this is packed, um, it's going into the front of the trailer, as I was corrected last week, so that it will be way up there, out of the way, won't need to worry about it. And then we will go around in order woo, and pack the rest. This area being the most important, which will be coming out from the house. Notice things are well labeled, and when you keep things organized, it makes things so much nicer. And that way, you know what you have, you know where things are, and you don't have to waste time searching for them. Good morning, Zach. So, um, and yes, Chad, he is. Every day, all day, he is good. I'm going to keep moving here. One nice thing, and this is also a blessing, sorry about the fast movement. There have been splotches in our yard that wouldn't grow grass very well. And, you know, we look out now and you can see that it, it's all covered in beautiful grass. Down there by the cabin, it would be um, really low grass and just didn't look very attractive. And you know what? What a blessing. Even though it's growing like crazy and it's just getting so deep, um, it's green and it's lush and it's beautiful. So, you know, it looks like a park and it's just amazing. I love it. 
Now, I'm gonna spin around here, slowly. There he is, working hard as always. <laughs> and um, I'll show you what we did. There's another video going up probably before this hits YouTube um, of a little bit of a progress update also, but I got the garden done. Um, he and I were out one night last week before the rains heavily came and we got everything covered in black plastic. There is a section down there in the back bed in the corner on that side and then on this side. That corner has my spearmint tea, sorry over there, and this will have my lemon balm. My comfrey is right there. That's going to get transplanted into the garden also, um, but that's done. So my beds are taken care of and won't be this overgrown mess and even though I can't get in to plant them I'll have some tea and I at least know that the soil is doing all kinds of great things underneath that black plastic. Now this man here has just been, this is what day three out here? Yes. <laughs> but he's been busy. He has been decluttering. He and the mountain boy took a load to the dump yesterday um, and he has two more to go and uh, you can see huge changes. Hello Leah and Janet and uh, Nikki and Sanford and let's see here. Kelly says Satan is working overtime, couldn't comment sending evil away in Jesus name. Thank you. And haha ha, yes, but I meant Glenn in my prayers. Got you. <laughs> and it is beautiful. It's so pretty and green. Our grass is all dry and has been for a week, Shelly says. Yeah, we're going to mow this once or twice and then it's going to be dead for the rest of the summer. It's really crazy, but at least it'll, it'll look nice. Um, Kelly says it's been raining here for four days straight, planted some seeds, praying they aren't rotting, praying for sunshine. Red Lodge received 15 inches of snow last night and snowing still. That's just 25 miles west of us. Yeah, it is insane. This weather is insane. We had rain all last week. so. Um, the sunshine is nice. It's helping us get outside and I know that being outside is helpful for him in that he's It's a change of pace, but please pray for him. He is wore out, but you can see what he's been doing here um, Lots of changes lots of stuff out of the way and I'm gonna say this on here, too I said it on the other video, you know, this man has stuff all over. There's all kinds of stuff and you know what? I will never ever complain about that. You can see all the stuff over here. I will never complain. This man, I, I truly believe, if forced in the situation, could make a pistol out of a paper clip. He is amazing. And he works really, really hard all the time. Let's spin this back around. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just so proud of what he does, his work ethics, his integrity, and you know, to have those abilities to be able to create things, repair things, modify things, like I was saying in the other video, and I can show you real quick. You'll see it on here. You see the sawmill? You see the handle right here? That was from a push mower. I'm going to spin this back. That's the sawmill under there, and that is from a push mower. That is the part that when um, you let go of the handle, it, it um, throttles down, your mower does and the blade stopped spinning, well, he took that piece off of a mower and he added that to the sawmill because he used to have to go around it to throttle it down and this made the process so much simpler. So his abilities are endless and to have these things around, it's not junk, it's, it's part of our life and he makes amazing things out of garbage, so it's really awesome. If you need help, please come get me. Okay, I love you. All right, I'm gonna go inside, so bear with me. Ah, I almost spilled the drink already. Hang on a second here. I'm shuffling the cup. Yeah, come on, Kyle. Go hold in. Come on, come on. Okay, it's dark in here. Whew. All right, bear with me here as we make our way upstairs. And I will catch up on your comments. You guys are wonderful. I'm so glad to have so many of you following me today. Um, not a whole lot of progress in his side here. Other than not a lot of junk sitting around. Well, okay, there's tools, but that's not junk. Okay, hopefully I'm back. You can see the railing. 
this beautiful handiwork. There's still scaffolding, but there is no junk here. And things are starting to look nice. And we are going to vacuum. I'm so excited, I get to soon vacuum. Things aren't as cluttered. And I get to spice things up and decorate a little more and we'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna pop the light on in here and you can see my drying rack. That is an Amish drying rack. My mother-in-law got that for me and that thing is just awesome. With the wind, it's a lot easier to use that. Okay, I'm gonna spin this back around. Okay, ah! All right, let me get situated here. How are you all today? Who needs prayers? How can we be praying for you? I have a couple prayer requests um, coming up here also in a second, if I can get this. Let's see here. Okay, you guys have been chatting a lot. Let's see what everybody had to say here. Jackie says, you are smart to see the good in your husband. Mine is the same and I am thankful every day. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I'm blessed, I'm truly blessed. Let me see here. Kelly says, God bless you with Glenn and he with you. Never forget that. Draw strength from it when needed. Absolutely. I am, we, we are so blessed and we know that. Um, let me see. I will check out your brain retraining program. I have surfs, pots, and oh gosh, yes. Leah, you've got to check it out. It's fabulous. It's unbelievably fabulous. Um, definitely check it out. Um, and sorry to hear that you have those, but I'm excited to know that you will be healed from those. So... Um, definitely check it out. Um, Tammy says we have had rain and haven't been able to plant anything yet. Praying for you both. Thank you, Kelly. Really, really appreciate that. We appreciate appreciate all your prayers. Um, yes, Leah, my husband is multi talented. And Leah, do me a favor, please. Share your husband's link to his YouTube channel and his music. I was listening to it the other day on Spotify, and. Um, I know my audience would enjoy, so be sure to share that, please, so we can spread the love. Um, let's see here. Amen. My husband has Sirs too. He is a wonderful guy like your husband. Awesome. Awesome. And very talented, too. Thank you. Um, thank you. I love you, Tammy. I, know, I love you all. Thank you guys for praying for us. Let me see. Oh, Jackie says, can I get some healing prayers, please? Absolutely, sister. I have been sick with laryngitis and bronchitis over a month now. You know, I was just thinking when you said that, um, your immune system's probably still taxed, I imagine, so you can count on our prayers, absolutely. Oh, awesome, Tammy says praying for healing. You guys are so good. Okay, um, please pray for Charles. He is at a doctor's appointment today and could use continued prayers. Um, and uh, you could pray for Mona and Ken. And I want to share something with you. Today's topic, uh, it's amazing how God feeds me. I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, let me get into my notes here. Um, our topic today is, you know, God's plan is always, always greater. And it's so true. It's absolutely true. I got to get this out of my face. It's driving me crazy. Okay. Um, no matter what you go through, there is so much good to be seen and found. And, you know, we never know what our trials are going to be like. We never know how long they're going to last. And you know what? We're human. We are going to get tired. We are going to get weary. We are going to, um, you know, maybe, maybe even lose faith. Uh, I am blessed to say that that doesn't happen to me. Um, it used to. Uh, I am, I am not, I am, I am no different than everybody else. It's just that my walk has increased so much more over the last three years that my faith and my trust is so strong. Um, but I do grow tired. I just, I do grow tired. And, um, when you hear what has been happening in our lives, um, you will just be floored. And, uh, I am just constantly in awe of the, 
the miracles that God is providing for us, but also others. Um, it's neat when you can walk through experiences with people, following people, and watch the experiences they have as they're happening, and um, just see God's grace and His love and His mercy on us. Um, Leah just shared her husband's link. He is a singer and is just amazing. And I encourage you to check out his links and listen to uh, his music. I know you will be blessed. Um, and thank you all just for the way you love on each other. That is just so amazing. Our community is so amazing. That in and of itself is a miracle and a blessing to me to see how God is growing our community, see how God is working within our community. And like I always say, I am the vessel that pulls this together, but we are all in this together and it's so amazing. So if you have a um, testimony to share, please don't hesitate to um, share that in here because our testimonies are what reach people. Our testimonies are what keep people seeing that they're not alone. Last week, I don't know if you guys had noticed um, one of the comments, and I am, oh gosh, I'm trying to think of her name. She was so fun, and I hope she joins us today. I wanna say Nikki, but I don't think that's right. Um, but anyway, you know, comments were made last week in, in the video that helped somebody else that was listening to realize they weren't alone. And that is powerful. And, and you know, it's so crazy how long these have been getting, but I'm just, I'm just thrilled with that because of the communication that has been going back and forth. This is not just me yammering away. You guys have been feeding the flock too and, and sharing so much amazing information. So I wanna share something with you. We've been talking about Kim and Martin. Martin is the one in a coma. Um, he was jogging with his daughter, had a heart attack, and has been in a coma since. Um, I believe he is pushing 80 days in his coma, or more at this point. And I just happened to be on Facebook the other night, and I saw Kim posted that she had gone back to work for the first time since um, Martin was in the ho put in the hospital. And she, she mentioned that, you know, she was thinking of him because during her shift between the last two and a half, three hours, he would start texting her quirky little texts, fun texts to help her make it through her last two and a half, three hours of work. And she started thinking about that and, and realizing how much she was missing that. And it's just amazing how God works. She looked down at her phone and there were three messages from three different friends checking in on her at the same time, you know, at that time frame. So, you know, God knows our little needs, regardless how big or small they are. And if we are paying attention and really keep our eyes on him, we will see how much he loves us and how much he is blessing us. And it's just so powerful. It's so powerful. It's so powerful to walk in these things and see these things happening and just to celebrate them. I know there's been some comments here. Charles, welcome. Amen to seeing all God does in our lives. Yes, absolutely. And um, Charles says, he's, I'm in the waiting room at the doctor's office. Please save this for me, please. You betcha. I will share the link with you when I am finished, Charles. And... Um, Thank you guys for praying for him. So we do have a list of prayer requests down below if you would keep these folks in your prayers. Um, also, uh, I am uh, believe his name was Eddie. We follow someone on YouTube and one of their friends has ALS and he is um, on, on the, at the end of things and she just asked that we would pray for him and his family. Um, God knows who he is. Uh, if I have his name incorrect, I apologize. Um, but that is just one awful, awful illness, as is cancer and so many others. But um, if you would keep them in your prayers. And, you know, like I said, if you guys need prayers, please do not hesitate to ask. And Jackie, we will be keeping you in our prayers. And Charles and Mona and Ken. And um, 
Don't hesitate to reach out to me during the week. You can join us on our community at treyerwilderness.com slash community. Um, but God has been, been working so many miracles in our lives. And, and it's just really crazy. Each miracle seems to just keep getting bigger and bigger. And oh, yesterday just awed me. And I said that the enemy has been attacking. Um, we got a message on Friday on our website from one of our audience members who said that they wanted information on our Idaho property. And uh, I don't know why. I kept saying this to the mountain man. I said, I don't know why. I just, I, I'm feeling like such a struggle to get back in touch with this person. I, I, I just was avoiding it and procrastinating. And it's so weird because you know we want to sell this house. And I'm not attached to the house. I'm anxious to pass on the baton and the torch and let the next family take this over. It has been a labor of love. It is a beautiful home. But we are, we are ready for our next adventure. And it wasn't that. And I just couldn't figure it out. And then I did try to reach out to her. And everything that could go wrong did go wrong on both of our ends. It was the weirdest, weirdest thing. And this is a person who has been following us for a long time and um, listens to my podcasts, uh, has been reading my articles and reading our website. And um, I had seen her email cross my email box and, and in our newsletter. So I recognized it and I recognized it as a longtime member. So we finally connected yesterday. I was so floored. I was so floored, and I'm going to try to keep it together. This is big. This is really, really big. Um, rather than these get all spritzed up. Okay. Um, so here I think she's calling about our property. She wasn't. <laughs> she was afraid also of calling. She had been praying for a month. She and her husband had been praying together for a month. Um... She had heard on my podcast that I, we weren't sure what we were doing once this sold and that we couldn't make any decisions or do absolutely anything until this sold, but that we would be setting up a tent and just praying for God's direction because that's really important to us. Well, she was really nervous and really nervous and really nervous and she heard my next podcast and she decided that, you know, she really ought to reach out to me, that God has clearly given them direction and she needs to reach out to me. So she reached out, and as soon as she started talking, I realized why I was having such a struggle to reach out to her, because it was the enemy keeping us from each other. And she was afraid that we would think they were kooky and um, wouldn't understand what they were offering to us, where because of our faith and our walk and uh, just what has transpired over the last three years, totally got it and we are totally in a different place of understanding of what it is like to not only gift but to receive and I've told you guys before that when we keep people from gifting us we are keeping them from feeling that joyous feeling we feel when we gift others well they live in another state and they have property in Idaho they weren't looking to um, purchase our property they were looking to gift us with a place of tranquility and a place of refuge when our house sells and it would be a win-win for them because they would have somebody caretaking their property when they aren't there they purchased it like five years ago and they go there once a year um, they've invested in this property as a future home and land for themselves and their their children. This is a beautiful, large acred parcel with solar and hydro. For those of you that know me, I struggle greatly to be around EMFs. Uh, when I go to town, um, you know, they, they really bother me. Now that I am healing, it's not as much of a bother to me, but I know how it affects my body. So our goal moving forward is to definitely, you know, honor the healthy lifestyle we've created for ourselves. So she said to me that 
they really that they love our family she said that there is a guest home on this property and she knows that the mountain boy has moved out on his own um, this parcel is like two and a half hours from ours um, and she didn't know if that would cause us to be too far apart so she offered the guest house to Austin and uh, Austin is training for a job right now that is a statewide job with the state of Idaho and uh, they're hiring all over and we've been seeing doors opening we've been feeling a wind of change I don't know what God has in store for us but to have somebody offer us their home um, just to be and just to get our bearings and just to get our, our back on our feet was just such a generous offer. I just, I somewhat kept myself together on the phone call, but just had goosebumps crawling all over me. And to know the kindness of others and to feel the kindness of others and just to be gifted in such a way was just so very huge. Well, you know, I love people. I love connections with people. I think many of you can feel that and see that in me and it was just so awesome. And you know, I wanted to, to be able to put a face with a name. I had not connected or spoken with this woman before. And uh, I took the dogs out later in the night. We ate dinner. Mountain Boy had helped us yesterday and I fed everybody and I needed to get back up to my office to work. and I. The mountain man was resting on the couch and the dogs needed to go out and I wasn't about to ask him to get up. So I took them out. When I was down there, I saw she sent an email with pictures. I left the dogs outside and I just came up bawling. This place is amazing. And she shared with me that when they went to look at the parcel, she had to let her husband go off by himself with the realtors because she put her feet on the ground and just started to cry that she could feel God's presence there. And you know what, when I saw the pictures, I saw why. This is just such a beautiful, beautiful place. It is a big log cabin that was homesteaded in the 1920s. It is just amazing, it's amazing. <laughs> And she sent pictures of herself and her family. You know, I felt a little uncomfortable asking for that because that's pretty private, even though she knows everything about me. I didn't want to invade her privacy. I didn't want to ask her to share more than she wanted to. So blessed. So, Elizabeth, if you are watching this today or if you watch the replay, my husband and I spent the night like this. Um, just in awe and just so very gracious and so very blessed. You know, I don't know what God's plans are. He may sell the acreage that we were planning to settle on here once it's sold along with this house. I don't know what his plans are. But what I do know is God's plans are always bigger and better and greater than we could have ever imagined. And uh, I look really forward to... Um, Elizabeth and two of her children and her mother are going to be coming to the parcel and she invited us up there to see it and to meet them and you know I can't wait to just give this woman such a big hug. That's just so awesome. You know so when you're rolling through life like this and you're fully trusting God and those doors don't open right away and you know we've learned just not to make plans. We have tentative plans because God doesn't want us sitting on the couch eating bonbons and just sitting there waiting on Him. He wants us to be active. And you can see we're active. We're active and we're doing our part. And we're working hard and we're trust, but we're trusting Him. We're trusting Him for the outcome and for Him to show us His plan. And guys, the first thing I thought when I saw this place is that all the things that the mountain man wants to do would be in this perfect place. 
and all those books I have started and the articles I have started and the baskets I have started and the paintings I want to do and the black ink I want to do on on animal bones and rocks and I know it sounds funny but we have these desires and this place was just so welcoming and so inspiring and just so oh I just can't imagine planting my feet there and just being able to not think about all these things we've had to think about and all this stuff and working this hard and just to be able to sit back for a little bit and surrender. <laughs> so I don't still know what God's full plans are, but I know that God blessed us from the hearts of other Christian people yesterday. And I can see how the enemy is fighting us and um, how he is trying really hard to stop us from doing what we do. And I see the purpose in what we do and I see how we are touching people. And she said one of the greatest things to, for her yesterday was to be able to bless us after all these years of struggle and all these years of sharing ourselves, our ups, our downs, our, 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 transparency, our raw, the good, the bad, and the ugly in an effort to help other people and to be able to give that back. Like I said, I knew I wasn't going to be able to keep it together for this, but this is powerful stuff and just what a blessing. You know, even if God's plan is to take us somewhere else, my prayer for Elizabeth and her family is that God blesses them immensely for such an amazing gift. Okay, I need to pause because my nose is running like crazy. Share your stories, guys. Share your stories. Share your love with others. Share how God is working. Realize when the enemy is holding you back from things because he's going to. He's going to keep you from things. And pray for discernment to see that. Because, you know, last week we talked about the enemy attacking I'm going to share a story in a second, but let me read your comments. You guys are awesome. And I am just, we are just so blessed. And you know, we sat and cried. You know what? <laughs> truth be told, truth be told, we were ready to pack our bags last night and go. <laughs> this has been a long walk. But you know what? We know God has purpose in it. We know God is using us to help others through this. So here we are. We're going to keep trudging forward, but I needed to share this with you guys. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Christy. Thank you for praying. Kelly says, God's amazing love for your family shines through past all the barriers of evil. <laughs> Praise God, a true blessing indeed. Oh gosh, yes. Rachel says, I'm so happy for you. Thank you, sweet friend. Rachel's been walking this out with us. Rachel's been walking with me for years. I love you, sweet girl. Jackie says, a truly awesome giving gift. Oh my goodness, yes. And Leah says, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Shelly says, that's so awesome. You have a refuge. We have been praying for this. I told you this was big stuff. I shared with some of you last night that you guys can't miss today because, oh, gosh, my heart was just, so I spent most of the day in happy tears. I got a lot done, but I had to keep washing my face. It was dry of tears. It was just so amazing. Diana says, what an awesome gift from the Father that has come to you through his family. <laughs> I know. Dan says, and hello, Dan. Um, he says, it's such a feel, good feeling knowing God is in charge and taking care of everything. God's blessings to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you so much and welcome. I don't recognize your name, Dan, so I am thankful to have you joining me and also having uh, left a comment. You know, guys, if you're watching in the wings, um, sometimes I can't see that you're on, but when you comment, I know you're there. So um, it's always nice to know who's joining us. And uh, I love you all. Gosh, our community, so amazing. It's just so, so amazing. Courtney says, hug, sweet friend. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. God rewards the faithful, Jackie says. Oh, gosh. There's just so much to be said about just trusting and being obedient. Oh, Kelly says hugs. God is so awesome. Absolutely. Shelly says to fully enjoy this gift. Unfortunately, you have to finish what you started. Yes. Yes. Um, 
but we are feeling this huge, huge wind of change. We feel God is really speaking to us right now. And we could really use your prayers for discernment that we are um, following God's plan and it's not the enemy trying to hijack us into something wrong. So please help us pray that God definitely makes things clear to us. Um, if he does make things clear to us, uh, we are going to need a huge, huge favor from you all. We are going to create a video that is going to need to go viral. Um, and I know with God in, in following us, leading the way, and just being so ever present that, you know, if that is our need, it will happen. But um, there is also such amazing abilities in community. And that's why I ask you guys if you have prayer requests, if you need anything, you know, it's just amazing to see what is transpiring, what is happening, and how we all can affect each other's lives in such a positive way and also be there for one another. And amazingly, you know, sometimes we aren't all that far apart that we could physically help one another. And, you know, our hearts have always been that if somebody, um, our friends, uh, our brothers and sisters needs help that we will drop what we are doing to help them in any which way we can and you know I really feel that God is moving in ways for us that in our future um, that this community is going to take on a whole new whole new look and feel I just really see God working and I'm just so anxious each day to see the doors he opens, what he is doing in our lives, and how he is going to use us. You know, something just occurred to me. I'd like to ask you guys to pray for Brian, too. Brian is watching. Uh, Brian had an interview on Monday. Things are progressing, um, but he really needs this job. If it's God's will, just help us to pray that that door opens for him. It's looking very promising, and I truly believe it is the job that's going to uh, be available to him. So help me pray on that because I did forget to mention that earlier. Kelly says, this is small. Hello, sweet Holly. I'm glad to see you joining. Um, Kelly says, this is small, but still God working in our lives. Last week, we finally sold our weather and buckling and then went to buy some needed items for a project for our meat chickens. The cost of the items needed was 75 cents more <laughs> than what we sold our goats for. Gave me goosebumps because we were being so careful due to a tight budget. <laughs> God is so amazing. God is so amazing. And guys, it is because of our faithfulness to him I'm going to share this with you, two things with you. I try to title these um, accordingly. You know, a lot of people see God's name in things and they run. I don't, I don't want people to run. I want people to come and I want people to feel welcomed. And I want to be able to, to turn people to Christ. But at the same time, This title came to me earlier this week, God's plan is always greater. And you know, I was thinking and I prayed this morning and as I prayed and I spoke out loud, you know, I said, God, give me the right title for this, for this live video. And you know what? The first thing that came to mind was him saying to me, I already did. And you know what? We are bold in our walk, the mountain man and I. And even the mountain boy. Mount, the mountain boy is really strong in his faith and um, really helps people to, to uh, think about their walk because he, he encourages people in ways um, just unique. He's just, he just has a unique way. I don't even know how to put it in words. But, you know, God uses us and we are bold. You know, so many people are afraid to speak God. They don't want to offend. And today's title is perfect. God's plan is always greater. And, 
You know, if you are joining me today or you are watching the replay of this because something inspired you to watch it and you weren't feel fearful but you don't have a walk with Jesus, you know, what I have and my walk with him is free to everybody. We've already been giving that. When, when Jesus died on the cross, we were given and gifted eternal life and the ability to call on him when we need to and the ability to talk to him freely. You know, the other day the mountain man yelled up to me. He's like, what, what did you say? I said, stop interrupting me. I'm talking to Papa. You know, we both find ourselves doing that throughout the day. And, you know, we might be quirky. We might have funny ways. We're in our home. But, you know, we can do that wherever we are. We have been given that right. The Old Testament, you had to go through somebody to talk to God. Jesus saved us from that. Jesus changed things. He put a new plan and a new rule in place. And, and he gifted us with the Holy Spirit to discern right from wrong and to catch us in our tracks. You know, last week's talk, none of us are perfect. I am not perfect. I, I make mistakes. But I want to walk with integrity. I want to seek him. I want to improve myself daily. And that is my wish. And we all have that ability. And you know, we all have sinned, but all we have to do is ask God to forgive us. And those sins are washed away. And all we have to do is seek him. And the more we seek him and the more we seek his word, the stronger our walk gets and the more he shines through, not only does he gift us and bless us and love us and show his presence and make it very clear to us that he loves us, but through us and through that enhanced walk and that desire to improve our walk and to mature in our walk, we are a light to others. I want to share something. This is really cool. This is Kara Bryan. Bryan has been gifting me with some really awesome material. I shared something from Toby Mac this week. It says, God is not asking you to figure it out. God is asking you to trust that he already has. And that's how we walk. You know, we, we, don't, we don't seek things without him. And we trust him wholeheartedly for whatever he's going to do in our lives. If we need to pitch a tent and live in a tent for months on end, I don't have a problem with that. And I didn't have a problem with that. But I'll tell you what, that was quite a secure feeling to know that somebody was willing to bless us with a beautiful roof over our heads for winter. And it's just awesome. But in sharing that, Brian shared that this reminds him of the verse, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. A lamp casts a circle of light rather than a beam as a flashlight does. As you take a step forward, that circle illuminates one step more of the path. You all right? Okay. Doesn't shine out ahead of you at all, but as you carry the lamp, more and more of the path is revealed. That is how God's word guides us many times. To progress using a lamp, you need to be holding it. You need to step forward into its circle. There is some trust and faith involved. And you know, that's um, makes me think of our walk with God. You know, in that um, as we progress, he guides us as he progresses and he's, we're hanging on to him. We need to step forward and we need to read his word and we need to hold tight in that circle of his grace and his love. And there's trust and faith involved. And, you know, I don't know where we would be if we didn't have faith and trust in him. I'm going to interrupt. Go for it. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm giving you a kiss. I got to go. Oh, oh, oh. I will take that yeah. freely. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <sighs> now, 
That's a blessing right there. Uh, all right, guys. So I have something else I want to read to you that falls in this same lines. <laughs> okay. Reasons to be thankful. You know, no matter how big or how small our blessings are, we need to be thankful for them and we need to thank him. And you know, something that we do every day is we thank him ahead of time for what he's going to do. So in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God for you. That's first the Thessalonians 5.18. I want you to hang on to those words. And I want you to just uh, I just want you to think about that. Um, I was just looking at something in my journal. Um, those are powerful words. In everything, give thanks. Always. No matter how hard your journey is, you know, we're, we're human, we get tired and we get weak, physically weak. And you know, some days are harder than others. But one thing that we will not do is we will not give up and we will not stop thanking him and we will not blame him and we will not ask why. Because I truly believe that there, that everything happens for a reason. And, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, something came across my screen. Um, just trust him. Trust the outcome, no matter what it is you're walking, no matter how hard it is. <sighs> I want to read this to you. Gratitude doesn't come naturally to us, but grumbling does. <laughs> Can all say, we, we've been there. No one had more cause to grumble than Joseph. I love this part here. Abandoned, enslaved, betrayed, and estranged. Those are the chapter titles of his life story. For sure. You need to read his story if you're not familiar with it. Yet when he talks about it, you won't hear a tinge of bitterness. Instead, you'll hear the opposite. In naming his two sons, he makes them living, breathing, lifelong testimonies of his gratitude to God. Joseph named his older son Man Manasseh. For he said, God has made me forget all my troubles and everyone in my father's family. Joseph named his second son Ephraim. For he said, God has made me fruitful in this land of my grief. And you know, if you know the story of Job too, Job never, never denied God. Never, never blamed God. He held true to God. And, and you know, there's so much power in that, guys. There's so much power. Notice two things. First, Joseph looked at the past and gave God thanks for what he had brought him through. We are going to walk through things every day of our lives, guys. The enemy is going to bring, bring it on. And I'm telling you, he's going to bring it on hard. I will share another story in a minute. He doesn't care. He is here to kill, steal, and destroy. And when you are blessing others and speaking God's name boldly, and you are walking boldly to the throne, he is going to fight. He doesn't fight the unsaved because they aren't a threat. We are a threat and I will gladly be a threat to him. I will gladly be a threat to him. Okay, so he thanks God and praises God and, and looks back in his past only to thank him for what he's brought him through. And we need to do that, guys. Whether it's stuff others did to you or stuff you did to them, God's grace brought you through it. That is what forgiveness is about. If you haven't read the book Wronged, you need to look it up. TreyerWilderness.com slash Wronged. It is a fabulous book and you have to read it, okay? Now, there's only one good reason to bring up the past and that's to remember how God guided, protected, and blessed you in it. Second, Joseph looked at the present. God has made me fruitful in this land of my grief. God blesses us every day. This walk is hard. This walk was scary at times. Um, but he's always there. He's always there. Do you remember a time when you thought you wouldn't make it? 
and when others thought you wouldn't make it too? Look what the Lord has done in your life. In spite of the obstacles and the opposition, he has blessed and taken care of you. Turn off the complaining faucet and turn on the thanksgiving faucet. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you. It's amazing. Those are words to meditate on, guys, and, and to, to just be blessed by. And like I said, if you are not... If you are, are not a believer of Jesus, I truly encourage you to consider it. Um, and I shared a link on our Facebook page this week. You've got to watch the movie Mountaintop. Um, you can find it on Pure Flix. Uh, Tryourwilderness.com slash Pure Flix. Um, it's a fabulous movie. It makes my heart sing every time he calls God Papa. That's just so personal. I just love that, and that's why I've started doing that, because he holds such a dear place in my life, and I don't have an earthly papa right now, but I do have him, and that means the world to me, and um, he looks out for my family in such great ways. I said about the enemy attacking, and you know, we've talked about that last week and spiritual warfare and the attacks and you know some people don't truly believe in that or they don't understand the depths of that but we laid down last night in bed and like I said uh, the enemy was keeping me from contacting Elizabeth and the enemy was keeping her from contacting me in fear of feeling kooky or me thinking she was kooky um, not at all and we laid down last night as soon as I laid down, I felt like my head was in a vice. I didn't say anything to the mountain man. And then our blue healer just kept pacing. It's not like him. And he paced and he paced and he paced for probably about 15 minutes. And he kept loving up on me and pacing. And it could be that he was picking up on whatever was going on with me. Our dogs are very in tune with that. Um, we've had several other experiences here. Uh, I should do segments strictly on spiritual warfare. Um, since we are here, we have really experienced some crazy, crazy stuff. But that's because we are bold to the throne. And the enemy will take every step he can to keep us from succeeding, to hold us back, to make us question things. But anyway, you know, the mountain man had taken our, our blue healer out before. But he thought, well, you know, we'll take him out one more time. Took him out, came back in, and, and he didn't do anything. And he just kept pacing. And I was feeling really strongly just that we needed to pray. And, and, I, and, and he says, you know, we need to pray. Something's not right. And I said, you know, I, I totally feel that. And I said, my head feels like it's in a vice. And we prayed. We prayed over ourselves, for each other, over our home, over our property, over our mountain boy, over... Um, Mona and Ken, um, uh, we prayed over those that are directly close to us and all of you out there praying for us, you know, we, we prayed over our property, we prayed over the dog, we prayed over me and we just prayed that the enemy would leave and my head pain went away and the dog just laid down and went to sleep. And you know guys, I some people may think that's kooky, some people may question it wonder about it but you know the more we go boldly to the throne the more those things are going to happen but the thing we have to remember and that's what we did is that we have power greater than the enemy God gifted us with that power we are able to go to the throne for starters for anything and we are able as Brian said last week as it mentions in Matthew, that we are able to cast out evil and we are able to cast out illnesses and we are able to heal. And God has given us those powers, but so many today don't use them. And I truly believe that we are going to continue to be under attack 
and I see my friends being under attack. I share with you about my girlfriend trying to do a video and all the things that kept going wrong and how the sun was shining on her and it just dumped buckets of rain on her that she had to take refuge out of the rain, you know? So the enemy is there. The enemy is going to use everything he can. He's going to use people closest to us. You know, we feel pretty stripped down um, And the enemy, the enemy will cause all kinds of weird thoughts of negative things, of jealousy and anger and resentment and hate and, you know, cause people to be unable to, you know, uh, not to be unable, to, but to see their friends in weird lights. Um, you know, he will break up friendships. He will break up families. He will, he will step in wherever he can. And if we don't learn to discern how he is working and his motives, um, lots of unfortunate things happen. So I just want to, to encourage you guys to not only be thankful, but to keep your eyes open, keep your eyes on God and keep your eyes open for those attacks because those attacks are real. And uh, it's just amazing what God can do in our lives. It really, really is, guys. You know, I am just feeling so touched in the mountain man. I, when I say that, I can hear him going, oh, you're touched, all right. He just loves messing with me. But, you know, seriously, though, um, it. We were both in tears yesterday. That is just such a powerful thing to be blessed by other brothers and sisters. And you know, guys, I think I told you last week um, in my uh, coach.me, I added a thing to my daily routine to bless someone and just to make note of how often I'm blessed. And you know, it only allows me to click on that once in a day. That just isn't enough. That's why I love my journal. My journal, I can record every single blessing. And you know, some days my pages, I've meant to keep my pages just one page per day um, so that I could fit a year in this journal. Pfft, why bother? I want, I want to see all of the blessings. I don't want to forget anything. And, and you know, I am blessed every day by the people God has blessed me with. You know, God took people away from us over the last three years. And at first I was devastated by it. And, and you know, the people he took away, we realized weren't really friends and weren't really um, the right people for our lives. You know, God knew that. God knew that we needed something different. And, you know, um, what's funny is I know that some of the people God has blessed me with that I hold very high have said to me that they prayed for God to bless them with somebody as well. And you know, um, it is amazing what God, what God will do when we ask for it. You know, this popped in my head. I, I pulled out my pap's Bible. Um, my pap was my spiritual inspiration in my life and what led me to God at a young age. And although my biological family, you know, thought he was kooky and they didn't see in him what I saw in him. And you know, every reflection I have of my pap is of him smiling. I don't ever remember my pap being angry. And I remember my pap sharing the love of God with everybody he came in contact with. He worked in a grocery store. He was, he was a bagger at a grocery store and he touched so many lives. I knew that, you know, after he passed and, and before people would tell me how much, you know, he touched their lives. And one thing I wanted was his Bible. And his Bible is the King James Version and it is a really awesome um, study Bible. He, he did a lot of Bible studies at his church and he preached sometimes. and put his Bible away when I was packing things and I just kept feeling the nudge to pull it back out. I love the King James Version. I love traditional. I love old things. I love the sound of it. I love the old verses, but a lot of times, you know, it, uh, 
I don't understand it because of the these and the thous and all the other extra words they throw in there that you have to look up. But I prayed, I pulled it out and I prayed that God would help me to understand it because I really wanted to use his Bible. And you know, I, I read the other day out of Isaiah and I totally got what I read. You know, we can pray for things like that. We can pray for so much. The simplest of things we can pray for. And, and he will bless us with those things. So, you know, if you're struggling with something or you, you need something or you, you, you feel lonely, I know that there's several of you out there that feel really lonely in your walk, that you're seeking things. You know, the more we pray, the more God will answer those prayers. Remember, though, his timing is the best. So when prayers aren't answered directly and right away, don't, don't feel like he's not there. Don't feel like he's not listening. Just trust his, his outcome. Trust what he's going to do in your life. Trust that day to day he's working in the background and, and that he will bless you. And sometimes those, those blessings come through other sisters and brothers. Thank you, Elizabeth, and your beautiful family. Mm. And, and some of those blessings may come from the prayers of your closest friends and those friends that you know you can go to, that they will lift you wholeheartedly that they will love you for who you are, that they see the magic in you when other people don't. I don't know. I just feel really blessed, guys. And uh, I trust the outcome. I wholeheartedly trust the outcome. No matter what I've walked through in the last three years, I've never had fear. I told you how the fear left me, and that fear left me, and it was replaced with this amazing, peaceful, faith and trust in God. And I told you, I didn't always have that. But it's because of my walk, it's because of my desire to have that relationship with him. I'm going to share a picture in this later with you. I found some artwork from this fabulous artist that does some really amazing um, paintings of Jesus. And I'm going to share them with you. I, I sold my jelly cupboard to this lady and, and she took me through a tour through her house which was such a blessing she didn't know me but she took me through her house and showed me all her antiques and she had amazing antiques and an amazing old cook stove and so many things that just screamed at me but the one thing that screamed out to me was this painting above the mantle and I will share it with you then because um, you'll I think you'll understand why it just screamed at me so much um, God works in our lives in so many miraculous ways. So whatever you're walking through, whatever your struggles are, whatever your needs are, um, sharing our testimony, blessing others, you know, it doesn't matter how big or small the blessing, please allow people to bless you. You know, when we first walked through the walk we did with my illness, you know, we're very bold online, but we got to also be um, protective of our family. We didn't share our exact location. We didn't share the layout of our home. And, and that was smart. And, you know, now we're sharing the layout of our home. We're going to sell our home. And, you know, I feel that through, through that beginning of that walk, we kept people from blessing us because we were too protected. And there is a point to be protected, but at the same time, you know what? We've got to trust God for those things too. And it's really important that we accept other people's blessings because God gifted them with the inspiration to bless us. And you've got to trust God's plan. And it's going to always be greater and bigger than ours. And we need to let those those loving sisters and brothers in. And yes, there are crazy, weird people out there, and we do need to be cautious of that. But at the same time, the feelings that over that came over me and over the mountain man, and when I was talking to Elizabeth yesterday, there was just no mistake that it was a God thing. So the deeper you walk with God and the deeper you pull in and the more you read his word and the more you let him use you and speak to you and love on you, 
the more you will be able to discern those things. So I just want to see if there's anything else I wanted to share today. You know, God inspires me so much and I make notes and I, I, I don't want to ever miss sharing these things. But below in here are the links to all those that are in need of prayer. Don't hesitate to uh, list your prayers and, and cover those people in prayer. And you know, if your time is limited, there's a long list. Just pray for them as a whole, as our community, as those in our community that, that need loving. And uh, keep praying for Brian. One of the things that made me smile across the screen is he said he's 96% sure that he's gotten this job. And I just believe he's got it. And I also believe that Martin is going to um, just open his eyes from this coma and be healed. I would like to ask, though, I forgot about this, um, another part that I saw in just briefly passing through Kim's page, she's such an inspiration to me, was that um, Martin is dealing with thrush and they are treating it, but it's because it's such a big, a lo an extreme case, and they're having problems getting it under control, that his um, responsiveness to stimuli was being altered. Um, you know, and I'm sure that was concerning to her. Um, and I know that God has such a huge plan. So, so please pray for them and pray for each other, love on each other, uh, be thankful for everything that's happening in your life. Even if you're tired and weary, be thankful and trust the outcome. I can't say that enough, guys. You know, many of you out there, I've been sharing with you and talking with you, and you know our weariness. I shared a lot today. And you know, like I think it was Kelly that said it, we've got, or Shelly, Kelly or Shelly shared it, you know, that we've got to walk through what we've started here and finish what we started here. But what a blessing to know that we have a place to take refuge and that that was offered to us. And um, it's exciting to know that God has a plan and he's going to slowly reveal that. And as Brian shared, that lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path. You know, such a great analogy, holding that lamp and holding on to him. And knowing that the more we hold on to him, the brighter that pathway gets. And, and the more he will show us. So I'm going to leave it at that today. Thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for this community and loving on each other. And just, I hope you too can feel what God is doing here. I mean, it's amazing. Not just here in my home, but here. Here. He is using all of us to reach each other to love on each other, to build our faith and our trust and, and through our sharing and our caring to building on our, our walks. And it's just amazing. It's just so amazing. So amazing. I knew he would use me in great ways today. And I knew that after talking to Elizabeth yesterday that today would be powerful. And I'm just grateful I can share these things with you. And it's like she said, it's the good, the bad, the ugly, but it's real. It's real, and you know, I've never been good at concealing my feelings. You know, I can't lie, I can't. My face just wears it, even as a kid, I couldn't do it. And I didn't want to, I didn't feel right, you know. It's just amazing to be able, you know, one of the greatest blessings of these live videos, guys, Truly, I can say this for the first time in my life. I don't have to worry about what other pe people think because I don't care anymore. And it's not that I don't care about other people. I just don't care what they think of me. What I do care about is being who I am and who God made me to be. And there's so much power in being me. <laughs> and just being who I am who God created me to be, to wear my heart on my sleeve, to love up on you all, to have an amazing husband, 
and to just share our love on the screen. I don't care. I love my husband. I love my life. I love you all, and I love what God is doing. And you know what? It's so awesome to be able to share that and just be me. Anyway, I'm going to say a prayer. <laughs> Not for this mushy stuff. All right. <sighs> Papa, thank you for all you do in our lives, in each of our lives. Thank you for blessing Brian with the job he's going to start soon. For blessing Charles with peace and comfort and company. For blessing Mona and Ken with a drive to, to just enjoy life and have a day to day and be pain free. And to bless Martin with healing and a beautiful family and to come out of this coma and have such a testimony. And just be with Pat Kenny too. He's just come to mind and I know he's anemic right now. He's battling cancer and a failing heart and just lift him, Lord, wherever he is right now and just give him a peace like no other. Give him a happy day. Give him a day where he can bless others something that he loves to do. And may he be blessed through it. He's blessed us in so many ways. And I mentioned that I didn't have a papa on this earth, but I view him greatly as one. And uh, just bless him, Lord. Lord, just give us each the strength. You know... Bless my husband. He's traveling and uh, taking a load to the dump. Just keep him safe. Keep your hand of protection on him and just empower him for his day-to-day -day walk. May he bless somebody while he's on his travels. And just lighten his load. Love on him, Lord. Love on each and every one of these beautiful people here and just bless them greatly for their prayers and their love and their encouragement and inspiration to our family and Lord just give everybody a blessed day a strong walk and a desire to please you and to pull into you and may our transparent walk be a blessing to those that are just starting out and may they be encouraged never discouraged by what our walk and what we find in you and what we see in you what we seek in you and above all else, Lord, just bless Elizabeth and her family for such a wholehearted, kind, and Christian gesture. Just bless her, bless her and her family beyond belief. And thank you for what you're going to do in each and every one of our lives. You know, we all struggle for, through different things. But just help us to see you through that struggle because like Joseph, let us look back and see how you helped us walk through this stuff. Because we're going to walk through it. We're not going to get stuck in it. We're strong. We can put on your armor in Ephesians 6. And we can be strong and be empowered and become warriors for you. All we have to do is choose that. So may each and every one of us choose to be a warrior for Christ. And just be strong in that. And grow in our faith. Lord, I thank you for what you're going to do. I thank you for your love and mercies, and I thank you for each and every one out there. I ask this in your holy and precious name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, such amazing stuff. Really, such amazing stuff. Oh, oh, wow, you guys have really been commenting. I didn't see that. Oh, sorry. Okay, he said 98% sure he got the job. That's awesome. Thanks for the prayers. Absolutely, Brian. Absolutely. Diana said, just enough light for this step I'm on. A, a book, little by, oh, by Stormy and Marion. Oh, I love her. I love her. And I'm so glad you said that. Leah says, I love Corey Ten Boom's testimony about that scripture also. It, is, it will inspire you. Yeah, I love her too. Gosh, her story alone. Oh my goodness. And Leah says, Joseph's story has been on my heart a lot. You know, it's amazing. I love reading that story. And, you know, it's huge at a lot of levels. 
And, you know, guys, I want to mention this because it keeps popping in my mind. You know, if you have people that have really hurt you or even you've hurt people and they won't accept your, for, you know, your offer um, of forgiveness, you know, we can't force that on people. But we can love people. And those that have been hateful to us, you know what? Enemy is working hard to keep it that way. And we've got to be willing to be bigger than the enemy and forgive people. You know, people have done really awful things to me. And, you know, in my past, I've probably hurt people too. And I ask for forgiveness of that. But I also, you know, I forgive these people that have hurt me. I feel bad for them because a lot of them don't have a walk with Jesus. And, you know, that's something, like I said last week, we can pray for them. That book, Wronged, is amazing. Um, it's one of the best books I have ever read on forgiveness. I learned early in my life about forgiveness. Praise the Lord for that. And um, when we forgive people, we are helping ourselves more than we are helping them. Because we are removing ourselves from a life of bondage and, and being stuck. And I learned that early, thankfully, because I was stuck. And what a freeing thing it was to become unstuck and empowered by Jesus. So I want to encourage you that if you are stuck in a situation of lack of forgiveness, please move past that because otherwise you will stay right where you're at. And the enemy will just use that and, and just cause such great bitterness in you. Um, the power is the Holy Spirit. Yes, I'll tell you what. The Holy Spirit is strong in our home. That's what gave us discernment last night to pray. And you know, I love it when the Holy Spirit guides the mountain man and I together. You know, um, what was, this is really neat. I don't know what it is, but oftentimes when we're under attack, we just grab hands. It's just kind of like a, it's a Holy Spirit thing. Um, it's an instantaneous thing. It's a, 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 he and I have such a strong bond. You know, we are, we are codependent on each other. Um, and, and we live our life together day to day. And not everybody can do that. And, and I will not say that every day is um, a bed of roses. Um, we, we do struggle sometimes. We do, you know, just tire out and get on each other's nerves. That's human nature. But at the end of the day, um, and even two minutes later, we're loving on each other. And, you know, that's powerful thing and God I truly feel God has blessed me with him I've experienced the other side of that and it's not pretty and uh, I, I pray for that for each of you um, to have that strong relationship and I love how God works in us together and and Holy Spirit works in us together and we've experienced that multiple times in our walk together where God is and that's how we judge that God is um, directing us is that we both are feeling the same way and the same thing that's really powerful and really strong. It's very uniting. Um, so uh, it, pray for that. It's a really powerful thing and it's a blessing. And I know many of you have that um, and that you pray together with your spouse. That's just so important and so powerful. For those of you that don't have that, I know that you will. I know that you will. Um, Kelly says, when we are persecuted, we need to feel blessed. <laughs> you know, um, like I said many times, I don't want to um, act like I stand here and cheer when new obstacles come our way, but I know that that is a gauge to base um, our progress on and that we are on the right path and doing the right thing and heading in the right direction and stirring the enemy up. And you know what? I like when I stir him up. And I went through my house today and I yelled out loud for him to get out of my house. Um, and he, he has to obey. Um, but yeah, that is, it is being persecuted for Christ is huge. You know, there's so many mission fields out there where people are being persecuted in other countries where they can't even read the Bible freely. And, you know, we are blessed to have that. And, and we need to fight for that here in our country. You know, God and the Bible have been taken out of everything. And if we don't fight hard and we don't stand up and we don't unify now, that is, privilege may be removed for us too. And uh, just remember that. If you have the opportunity to stand firm, stand firm, guys. Um, a missionary told us once the best thing to happen to U.S. Christians is persecution. Yeah, you know, I believe that because I believe that we have it too easy and that um, 
<laughs> the government keeps it that way. We, we do need to experience persecution and we do need to experience the need to fight for what we believe in. Wronged is a wonderful book. I'm currently reading it. Powerful. Yes. And you know what's really cool with that book is that each time you read it, it speaks to you differently. I've read it twice now and it was interesting. And I will say this, my first read through it, there were areas where I was angry because um, I was still not healed of some of the things that had been done to me. And when I read it the second time, I had empathy. So it's pretty awesome how God works and how God uses things and how God uses books and people and events and homesteads and gifts. He uses everything. Rocks, heart-shaped rocks. I see them all over. Chad says, Almighty God. Tammy says, not kooky at all. No kidding. No kidding. Uh, it's for her to say that, but I get it. I mean, so many people think when you say God or when you talk about God and, and how he does all this in your life, they think you have six heads, you know? And in, in, in normal conversation today, people do think you're kooky. You know, sadly, it's a, it's a select group of people that don't think you're kooky. And, you know, that's sad. It should be the reverse. Please watch the movie Mountaintop. That is so powerful. Um, if you aren't members of Pure Flix, you can join for a month for free using our link, uh, treyerwilderness.com slash pureflix. Stripped down is a good description. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, you know, um, but it's a good feeling though. It's like God weeds out what we don't need. And even though we might think we need it, um, we realize as he's stripping us that it has no purpose and that they had no purpose or that their purpose was um, actually keeping us from our purpose. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. And being stripped down, honestly, guys, is a really amazing place. It's a really amazing place. Um, you know, going through my sh the shed, there's so much out there. That I could, I don't need much. I don't need much to be happy. Um, as a matter of fact, you know, we were talking about living in the tent, and all I really need is my Bible, my journal, simple clothing. I'm a jeans and t-shirt girl. Uh, my iPad, my iPhone, and my laptop, and that's only because that's what I make a living off of. God has been blessing me greatly, by the way, guys. Somebody asked me how I'm getting all this new business. I'm not advertising. I haven't advertised since the very first week of my business, which started back in 2000 and 2000. 1997, I started doing this on the side. In 2000, I made it a real deal. Everything I have since then has been word of mouth, and recently I've gotten six huge clients. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, and I don't, uh, I cringe at this point when I get more because I don't know how I'm going to do them, but I do. I got as soon as I have that feeling, I got to remember that God's going to give me the abilities, the renewal, the strength, and whatever it takes to get these done because He's blessing us with what we need to keep going here because this man can't work. And work here and I, without killing him and I'm not killing my man so you know sometimes I'm like being stripped down is okay because um, you see the blessings of uh, and, and you know God will you got to give God the chance to provide Chad says he is the father of lies that's it don't listen to him yep he truly is he truly is the father of lies and when you see when you start thinking negative thoughts of any kind you can be pretty sure that's where they're coming from Focus on Jesus. Amen, Chad. Amen. Amen. Turn your eyes upon Jesus, Cindy said. Amen. Gosh, you guys have been active. These messages weren't popping. Oh, thank you for sharing this so much. Gosh, you guys are so good for my soul. God knows what I need. Our God is the only God who died, yet three days later he rose again. All the other gods who have died are still dead. Our God is real. Believe, have faith, and know God, our God, our Father, loves us and is real and that was Jackie amen sister amen my comments are for others and my sister okay is there anyone here that doesn't know the Lord 
Good question, Chad. And if you don't, would you like to? Lots of amens. Thank you, guys. Leah says freedom. Yes. Yahoo. Yes. He made you to be here in this time and space for a specific purpose. There's only one you. <laughs> the mountain man would say, thank God for that. <laughs> That's in humor. He and I have such a good time. I'll tell you what, guys. If you can't laugh, especially at ourselves, and have fun in the midst of things, and know that God has a sense of humor. God has a true sense of humor. Um, Kelly says there is power. Um, being who God made us to be. Thank you for showing the real you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for bringing out the real me. Holly, thank you. I love you too, sweet girl. Oh, such a good day. You guys have a good day too. Thank you, Courtney. And Leah says, I have the kind of marriage too. I wouldn't trade that for anything. People think we're crazy. Us too. And you know what? I'm totally good with that totally good with that. We are crazy. We are, are made in his image and, and he made us just as we are. And you know what? That's one of the things that we've got to remember is we've got to love each other for who we are because God made us this way and there's purpose in it all. And, and you know what? We, we complement each other and we need to remember that where one is lacking, the other is full. And, and that is what is really important in community. We are here to hold each other up, to love on each other. Um, Kelly says, oh, replying to Leah, amen. God's blessed me with my husband. He is my best friend and he is blessed by God with so many talents. I stand back and praise the Lord for it all. Such awesome stuff. It's such awesome stuff. And you know what, guys? Oh, hey, Sherry. Oh, good to have you joining me. Oh, good. Holly says she ordered it last night. I have to run. Mike's off, and we have a project to work on taking advantage of this time off and getting some inside chores done so when the sun shines again, we can enjoy outside chores. Blessing for each of your days, and love you, Tammy. Love you, too. Get to work. Be productive, and we will be praying for you. Love you all. All right, guys. I want to share something with you real quick. I'm reading a book. And I really, this book is so cool. This, this is the second time I've read it. I'm reading it through the second time. My dear friend, many, many years ago, before I embraced this journey, <laughs> shared this book with me and uh, said it reminded her of, of me. And I wanted to share a picture of the title. I don't know if I have this bookmarked or not um, for you to go look up easily. I've spoken to the author too, which is really awesome. Um, she really inspired me in my writing walk. Um, let me get to the cover. Oh, it doesn't have the good cover on here. Well, the author is Nancy E. Turner. And the book is called These Is my words and this is written in 1882 um, the author wrote the book from a relative's diary and journal and the reason my girlfriend gave me this book is um, she said that the main character reminded her of me my best friend um, Caroline has always called me Annie Oakley and there are parts of the book where the main character jumps out of the wagon on the wagon train because she saw a turkey and they hadn't had a good meal in a while and ran out with her shotgun and shot this turkey. And she said instantly, the only thing she could think of and laugh about was thinking of me doing that. So what's fun with this book is it's, it's a, you know, they're, they're, they're homesteading, they're finding their land, they're working through these struggles that were just incredible but and the humor of the time and and just the author's humor and how she speaks and how it's written if you're looking for a fun book to just get away and and pull yourself out of your current environment this is one of those books and i am very thankful to be reading it right now um it just brings joy to my heart to think of the journeys they were on so um, definitely check it out it's a lot of fun and I think you guys will enjoy it good morning Carrie 
Miss you, girl. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This was a long one, but um, really powerful. And really thank you guys for your love, your encouragement, your inspiration, and just the amazing community that you're forming here. So, guys, I wish you the best week. And